Hello everyone. Today we're going to demonstrate how to create a bar graph in Excel and add a standard deviation on each of those lines in the bar graph. Now it might be standard deviation or confidence interval depending on what data you're using, what kind of data you're using. For today we are using uh, values that have standard deviations in them. Uh, here we have just a dummy data of candidate scores by some ethnic groups, white, um, white, black, or Hispanic. We are going to create the bar graph. To do so, you highlight the data you want to create the graph with, and then you choose this you select the two dimension col a column of bar graph, click on it, and it gives you the graph that you can modify as needed. Here you can add a title to the graph, you can modify these values uh, as you wish. But what we're interested in today is how to add standard deviations on each of those lines in the bar graph. To, in order to do that, you select for each line, for example here, what represents the black, you select it. While it's selected, you go to on the top here where it says add chart element. You click on it and you choose error bars and you move your cursor over. You do not select any of those. Even if here it says standard deviation, it's not going to help to use it. You click on the line that says more error bar option. When you click on it, you have the format error bar column that comes here. We are using uh, Microsoft, uh, Excel 2016. So that's where it is found. Other versions of Excel will have it in a different location, you, but it, it will all give you approximately the same kind of information. What you need on the format error bar option, you go to custom, you click on it, and you click on specify values. Notice that we are working on the black options, the blue. Now you hit say specify values and you have a new window that comes up, a small window which you can move on any side of the screen to help you see better what you're doing. Now I already know those are the standard deviation values for all these candidates A, B, C, and D. So here for positive value, positive error, error value, I'm going to select the standard deviations I need here. Rem remark, uh, notice that as I select them, the they appear here. And then I move the cursor to the second one. You can delete this, or it was already highlighted. And then you select the same numbers for the negative value. And that's it. Now you have both the positive error value the negative error value, you hit OK. As I hit OK, look at the standard deviation lines that will be on top of the blue value, blue uh, bar that represents the blacks. Here we go. And now you see all those values are shown on top as the standard deviation uh, range for those values. You repeat the, the same action for the others, for the white. You highlight the white group. And then you go to chart, error bar, more error bar option. You click custom value, specify value. But this time, I'm just going to choose the deviations for the white group. Uh, for positive values and move to the negative value window um, section. I select them again. 
negative value section and hit OK. And I have them for the white bars, which is represented here in orange. Then I'm going to move for the Hispanic group. Same thing. Select the Hispanic bars. Click on Add Chart Elements. Error bar. More error bar options. Custom. Specify values. And this time I'm going to select the values that represents the deviations for the Hispanic group. There you go. And the negative values will be the same and I hit OK. Now I have the I have all the standard deviations for each group black, white, Hispanic scores for those candidates A, B, C, and D. This is basically how you add standard deviations to uh, multiple group, multiple bar graphs in Excel. We're using Excel 2016. I hope this helps. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Thanks.